Welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be sharing with you how I transform my coffee station for the holidays. So I had this little um, two-tier stand from Target dollar spot and I decided to paint it red and just add it to my coffee station and where I make my tea in the morning, my coffee, my hot chocolate. I do have this stand right here, but I'm going to remove it and add the the peppermint stands just to see how it looks and i really love the feel and look of it it just looks so light and airy against the white and i added two little gingerbread girl and boy from the dollar tree in my reef and here is how it all looks especially at night it's so pretty the red just makes it pop and I am just loving it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a message down below and share with a friend. So as you can see, I have my little mug that you saw from a previous haul. At the bottom, I keep my nutmeg and cinnamon and the top some cups for like treats. And my little house is from Target. I paid $5. And on this one, I have my little spoon stir and some plates. I really wanted to keep it simple and just easy to access. And I love this mug. It says it's not Christmas without hot chocolate. And I also added this sign with filled with Christmas chair on top of my Nespresso machine. And the candy cane sign, I hung it above. It's just really pretty and inviting light and airy and i also made this peppermint um, bouquet i would like to call it i added some lights i used a jar we used a jar that it had pasta sauce in it washed it out reuse it i'm all about using what you have to making it fun and festive i added the lights and i'm loving it it really gave the space that pop a lot of times people put too much decor in a space where they have to eat and this is the next look so I added back the sign the the stand that I normally have in that space and this is what it looks like and then right here I have my peppermint and stirs in here and then I added the shaker and the sign next to my candy cane tree let me know which setup you like better and i added these mugs to the back to hide the cord and yeah just switch everything around so you let me know which ones that you like better is it the one with the peppermint stands or this look i would like to know i love them all and i'm so happy that you're here watching this video and like I said before, don't forget to like and subscribe. And when I'm decorating, especially somewhere that I eat, I like to have decorative pieces, but just not too much. Sometimes you see people add so much decorative stuff that you wonder like, how is it practical? How can you eat there? How can you serve yourself coffee? So everything in the space when I'm putting something in my coffee area, my tea area, stuff that I actually use, they serve a purpose. And this is one of the things that you have to keep in mind when you're designing. I can always use the peppermints in my bouquet for stirring my hot chocolate. This is just, these are decorative, but they also serve a purpose. They hold my cinnamon, they hold my nutmeg. This is a little house, but it has stuff in it. I always like stuff to have dual function, like this mug, it has my stir, my spoons. And so you keep that in mind and you make it functional and beautiful and it has to work for you, for you as an individual. So I added this little <laughs> plates to the back because I could still see my plugs. So I put the gingerbread um, plate right there and I like the way it looked with the plates right there so you can't see the plugs. So again, this is another look. I did so many different looks, but I'm only sharing just a few today. And this is another look with the mugs. And yes, just to give ideas 
and um, I lost a lot of footage. I had a longer video for you guys. I'm really sorry about that with a lot more looks, but this is all that I have. So I hope that you guys really do enjoy it and stick around. There'll be a lot more to come. And I added the peppermint um, plates to the back of this just to add that pop of color. So I would love to know what colors you guys are using this year in your home, in your coffee or hot chocolate bar. And these are my marshmallows right here with the gingerbread. I absolutely love them. And my little elf snuck in. Um, in my video, she wanted to be on camera, I guess. So I'd like to know what colors you are using, what color mugs. Um, I'm always interested to know what other people are doing in their homes for Christmas or whatever it may be, like what's your color. And then I decided to tackle my drawer. Again, I lost most of my footage, but I was just going to show what I have. I had this coffee um, syrups. I have gingerbread, Irish cream, peppermint, and eggnog. I haven't tried them yet, but I can't wait to try them. And I have all my little accessories for my teas right here and my stir. And I just really love this just the overview of everything. It looks so beautiful. And this is a picture. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Hope that you inspired in some way. I know it's a short video, but I still wanted to share. I hope that you find something that you like, some inspiration. I love this ginger snappish tea. This is the tea I'm currently drinking, some hot chocolate, my chocolate bombs, and some pretzel with some chocolate and some teas to the front. Yes, I just kept it really simple. And yet functional and that's the name of the game I'm wishing you guys a Merry Christmas with your family and don't forget to make fun memories with your family because at the end of the day that what matters and remember that Jesus is the reason for the season and on that note I'm gonna have some hot chocolate and sit down and relax and voila here is my drink Thank you for watching. Goodbye.